Sport Update, powered by the Bomberito Automotive Group. Good morning, I'm Paige Holsey. This is your News 4 update. The COVID-19 numbers continue to climb in both Missouri and Illinois. Missouri reported more than 1,700 new cases yesterday, leaving the state with more than 133,000 cases and nearly 2,200 related deaths. With more than 2,400 new cases in Illinois, the land of Lincoln has now topped 300,000 cases. Illinois is closing in on 8,800 deaths. Missouri Republican Senator Josh Hawley is getting additional COVID-19 testing. Just a week ago, Hawley was one of many lawmakers who attended this event at the White House Rose Garden when President Trump nominated Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court. You see he's sitting in the second row with no mask, not social distancing. Hawley's office says he's tested negative twice within the last week, but is getting additional testing out of an abundance of caution. We checked with the Missouri Governor Mike Parsons office about his condition. A spokeswoman says the governor has recovered and his isolation period ended yesterday. Of course, you can always keep up with our coverage of the coronavirus on the KMOV News app, where we'll post the very latest updates. This morning, a St. Charles man is on a mission to raise awareness for Rett syndrome. Jay Murray is a solo ultra marathoner. He's been walking since yesterday morning, literally through the night, on his way to his goal of 100 miles. He sent us this video when he reached 40 miles, and he's doing it all in his St. Charles subdivision, raising money for Rett syndrome research with each step. I talked to him while he walked. He said he was inspired by a student at Fort Zumwalt West High School. Even though she couldn't speak, I noticed that there was some fire in her eyes, like there was a lot going on and there was a very active mind, so it kind of intrigued me, that combination. It's the middle of the night. How are you holding up? I'm doing pretty well. I've got an achy back. I've got a little back brace that I'm wearing to kind of uh, alleviate that. The legs are a little slower than they were earlier, but uh, really not many aches and pains, no blisters. I sometimes are pr prone to that, but so far I'm blister free, so it's just a matter of you know, where there's a will, there's a way. Washington University sports fans will recognize Murray as the voice of the Bears. He does play-by-play -play for the teams. This is the third year he's taken on an ultra marathon for Rett Syndrome. And every once in a while, he gets a little help along the way from friends who will join him for hours of walking. Matt, 100 miles. Mm. It's a lot. At least he had pretty decent weather. Had to bundle up a little bit overnight. I was just about to say the least we could do here in the Forewarned Storm Center is try to back him up with some decent weather. And as he nears that century mark, the weather will be improving. We had a lot of cloud cover overnight early this morning. Forget about that this afternoon. A whole lot of sunshine, although it will maintain that crisp and cool dry feel. Certainly feels like autumn out there. 61 degrees, breeze out of the north this afternoon, pushing drier and drier air in at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now, overnight tonight, we've got three key factors that will lead us to a very rapid drop in temperature. Clear skies, calm winds, and really dry air. So, key information for you, even if you caught the late newscast last night, you didn't know this. A frost advisory has been issued across the entire area. I'd be doubtful that we'll see much widespread frost in the city. I'm predicting a low of 39 in St. Louis proper, but a lot of the surrounding communities, low to mid 30s, and that's prime for some frost development. So cover the outdoor plants if you want them to make it through overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. So 61 again should do it for the high temperature today with a tendency toward more and more sunshine. And then we're going to start to creep up the thermometer here after that morning frost advisory tomorrow morning. That'll be the coldest we've been since May around here with a low anywhere from the lower to the upper 30s depending on where you specifically live. And then the afternoon tomorrow looks great, up to about 67 degrees, only going up from there into midweek. Tuesday's high, 77, mostly sunny. Wednesday, also mostly sunny. That's the warmest temp of the next seven, 82 degrees for the high temperature there. But even Thursday and Friday and into the coming weekend, it looks like temperatures will remain above normal. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.